This is the Cape Town CBD in four minutes. Wow, the South African Museum. And uh, we yes, had some good times there at the museum, as you can see on that photo. And what is this? The purple turtle! Wow, I bought some good stuff at the purple turtle. And then, of course, there's the Turkish baths where you can go and swim in the middle of the day. And there's another one of those old churches in the Cape Town CBD. Ah, oh, this is the Burkhop, the famous Burkhop. Look at those colorful buildings. And there's another drone shot from my... And oh, there's the Signal Hill, beautiful with the uh, Burkhop. Colorful buildings once again. Colorful place with colorful people. So take your photos and enjoy. There's an old mosque, almost 100 years old. And uh, some of the locals were nice enough to... Yeah, and uh, go to the book up, uh, check out the beautiful architecture and the beautiful colors, and uh, you'll meet some interesting and colorful people. Well, they are not from the book up, they were from the city center. And this is a view from the Media 24 building. That's an old church, Metropolitan Church. How old is that church? Mount Nelson Hotel, go there for some tea and crumpets for 200 Rand, and the noon guns. You can pause here, just read all of this. This is back at uh, Green Market Square. Oh, that's the Slave Lodge. Wow, that is such beautiful architecture. Just go to Cape Town CBD, check it out. And uh, yeah, Adderley Street, well known all across the uh, country. Beautiful fountains there and the old buses. This place is bustling. Okay, you've got the Golden Acre and of course the old Standard Bank, more than 100 years old. And WM Cuthbert building still standing today. Yeah, the CBD is very uh, bustling and full of traffic. As you can see, there's almost no space for anybody to enjoy a quiet walk. But it's possible if you take your time. Beautiful, colorful buildings close to the Burkhop in Beitengras Street. This guy was nice enough to pose for a photo. And uh, back in Beitengras Street, sometimes you can have a laid back picnic in the middle of the day. Check out Klufnek Super 8, still there in 2024. The Beat Center, I was there a couple of weeks ago at the Backpackers. If you want to go check out Backpackers in Long Street, there are quite a few backpackers that won't cost you an arm and a leg. There's another one, the U Hostel, Cat and Moose Backpackers, something to check out. Another old building built in 1890 odd, and beautiful churches with Etienne Rousseau being the photographer beautiful art on the walls of the buildings in the city. Mama Africa, still there. And you've got all these balconies where you can go for a drink or just for a chat with your friends. And once again, the purple turtle there on the right hand side. Uh, even today, I've got great memories of the purple turtle from 20 years ago. But make sure you don't get stuck in traffic because the traffic in the city can be rough. Loop Street, we looped there quite a few times up and down Loop Street. And uh, still, this uh, architecture will impress most foreigners coming to visit. Look at these old ladies enjoying the sights and sounds of the city. You can buy beautiful artworks, colorful things, and even fruits and vegetables on the streets of the CBD of Cape Town. And beware of the Golden Arrow buses because they might just take you to Tubalt Square, where the Absa building is still today. And you can sit there and enjoy a beautiful lunch with your friends. The Absa building. Check it out if you have some banks and stuff to do. Tibalt Square. Most uh, people who work in the city enjoy sitting there for a lunch snack or just for a chat. And even myself when I was working in the city I used to go to Tibalt Square quite often. You can see some uh, colorful people walking around there. And, uh, and I guess we'll see you on the next one. So like, subscribe and share far and wide.